Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot readings by Roxby. This is going to be your October 2021 monthly love reading. I'm using Crystal Visions. I'm sorry, I'm so late. I just, I could, I, there's nothing I could do. Okay, Gemini, those of you that are new to the channel, thank you very much for subscribing. I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please click the red subscribe. Hit all notifications so you get notified when I go live. Post your readings. Okay, Gemini, sun, moon, rising signs. I'm using, oh, I think I told you, Crystal Visions. It's a great deck. Gemini. <laughs> Gemini. Fool. Awesome. Son of Aries. The Sun. Wow, Gemini. Leo. King of Wands. Could be dealing with a Leo. He's sitting right next to the Sun. Wow. Chariot. Sign of Cancer. Queen of Cups, right in the center of the reading. Three of Wands. <clears throat> I got, okay, the Tower, Son of Scorpio. Five of Swords. King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, most likely a Scorpio. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. It's a generous energy, give and take. You know, receiving what you deserve. King of Wands and the Sun. I mean, this is definitely you, or you could be, you could have a partner that's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to say Leo for sure. There's big changes surrounding you. Fool is definitely a new beginning here. Those of you that are single, a new relationship, definitely. And Aries coming into your life. If I feel, I, you know, I feel like if someone. New. If someone new, for those of you that are totally single. There is something risky about this relationship. It's a, it, it's a risk. A leap of faith, you know. Literally into the unknown. And you do have the sun right next to that. Anything that you're taking a risk on, like a new person, there's definitely going to be happiness, success, contentment. With the sun, there's happiness, positive energy. Well, definite positive energy there. A 
new beginning by risking something and starting something new with someone. Chariot is the ultimate victory and success card. Sign of Cancer. That also represents moving forward within your within your love life. And I see that you have been waiting with the Three of Wands here. Like, you're, either you or this fire sign is sitting around waiting. You could be waiting for someone to, to come around, waiting on communication. This could be waiting for the perfect time, opportunity. And it definitely could be with the water sign. For my women, Queen of Cups, that could be your energy if you have water in your chart. You also have the King of Cups. A lot of strong water energy here around you. You could be reuniting with the water sign. Or a water sign could be coming into your life. You could be waiting to see some positive change in a relationship with someone. If you or your partner don't have water in your chart... With the king and the queen, it could represent that this is a very emotional, very emotional time for you. And you could be feeling overly emotional. If you've been, you know, waiting that definitely could be the case. But I do see a lot of movement with the chariot. A lot of movement after waiting for someone or something uh, with the tower I mean some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio but this is also shocking developments you know it could be that something like changes drastically this month or it's already happening because I'm late with the reading but I definitely take some caution because you know you also have the Five of Swords. The Tower could be positive or negative, depending on the surrounding cards. Right? And unfortunately, this is a red flag. I do feel like you need to be careful with making decisions this month, especially if you're dealing with a water sign. But this is a big change here. Shocking turn of events. Ex I mean, especially those of you that are dealing with a, with a Scorpio. Really a, shock a shocking turn of events. But it could be something that y you don't like. If you don't make the right decision, it could be that you're, you're meant to give someone a second chance that you've been waiting on. With the Five of Swords, you know, maybe you gave up too soon. It is your energy. You could have given up too soon. You know, keep in mind that it is a time of new beginnings. If you give someone a second chance or if you have someone new coming into your life, there's beautiful positive energy around it. If you're waiting, there's a lot of movement, big changes that, but that can also work against you with the Five of Swords, the King of Cups. The, I'm going to grab you guys some more cards. All right. The Gilded. We're, we're going to get more cards. Yeah. Sun, King of Wands. Well, wow, that literally just flew right out of the deck. The Five of Wands. Chariot. Queen of Cups. Three of... Well, okay, that definitely... Uh, queen. Five of... Uh, the Tower. 
Five of Swords, King of Cups. Okay. Five of Wands. Oh, no. Empress. Sorry. And the High Priestess. Listen, guys, there is amazing energy around you guys. The Sun, the Empress. If you're looking for a relationship, this is like a very good time to get into a relationship. But it does feel like there's something that you might do. Or, or you might work against yourself. Like you have the Five of Wands here. Some of you might be fighting something within you. And I feel like if you're fighting something within you, That's why you're what you're what you're fighting is the high priestess. Like you're fighting your intuition. Like what is your intuition telling you? Is it telling you that you should move on? Is it your intuition telling you that there's someone out there better for you? It is going to be different for all of you. It's a general reading. But I do feel for many of you. That your intuition is key for the month. It's the key to new beginnings. If you don't listen to your intuition, you can miss out on this. Love, happiness, abundance. I mean, the Empress and Sun in, this, in the same spread in a love reading. This could be an amazing month. For you as long as you listen to your intuition. Those of you that are coupled with the five of wands. The five of swords. There could be challenges. Arguments. Fights. Just not getting along. Not seeing eye to eye with each other. A lot of pettiness. Again. Listen to your intuition. It's worth it to fight like that. You know. Is it? Arguments. Could really get out of hand here, especially with the tower. Like I'm talking fist fighting, and and I mean, you know, I just feel like that the arguments are could definitely get out of hand for a handful of you. Some of you might need to heal your relationship this month. But like I said. There is amazing energy surrounding you. As long as you just do, act like the high priestess. She's just like gliding across whatever she knows. He knows. Could be a fire sign or an air sign. I'm saying Leo because you got two Leo cards here, but it could be an Aries or Leo. I don't Sag Sagittarius is just not here. But like I said, there is amazing energy surrounding you. There really is. Oh, there's a lot of success, happiness. Really, Gemini, listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Don't do it unless you feel like it's be it's the best thing for you to do. Okay, Gemini, I'll see you guys live soon. Take care. Bye. Love you.